I'm going to show you how to create professional LinkedIn profile pictures using Midjourney. To get started using Midjourney, you have to have a Discord account. If you're a beginner and you don't know how to do this, I'll leave a link to a video in the description below. Watch that and then come back to this video. In Discord, you'll want to click on the plus button at the bottom left. You want to click on add a server. You want to go to create my own and you want to go to for me and for my friends. You want to name the server, you can name it whatever you want and you want to click create. Now you want to add the Midjourney bot. If you click on the Midjourney server on the left, and then on the right, you click on the Midjourney bot, click add app, select your newly created server, click continue, click authorize, confirm you are a human, and then you can hit close. Once that's done, we'll need to go ahead and we'll have to add in the Insight Face Swapper bot. I put an invite link in the description below and all you have to do is click on it. So clicking on the link, you'll be asked to add it to your server. Click the server that it should be added to, click continue, and you'll authorize it in the same way that you did the Midjourney bot. On the right, you'll see the Insight Face Swap bot and you'll also see the Midjourney bot. That's how you know it's active. With that done, now what you want to do is you want to upload a clear picture of yourself. To do this, in the box at the bottom, you want to type in slash save ID. Upload the photo that you're going to be using and under ID name, name the image that you're going to be uploading. Hit enter. That's uploaded to Insight Face Swapper through Midjourney. You're ready to generate professional images and swap your face in creating a profile photo for LinkedIn. But before you do, one hack is you can have Midjourney create a prompt that closely mimics what you look like using the describe feature. Below you'll type in slash describe and you'll be asked to upload an image or a link. In this example, we're going to upload an image. We're going to select the image. I'm going to select the exact same image that we just used for Insight Face Swapper and then hit enter. You'll see Midjourney creates several descriptions that you can take and tweak further. So let's take some of the best elements from all of these examples and create a new prompt. So going back, we're going to hit slash imagine. The prompt that I've compiled is a handsome Caucasian man in his late 30s with short dark hair, smiling and wearing a suit and tie in an office environment. The background is softly blurred to focus on him, soft lighting, natural features, portrait photography. You can see the rest there. So here's what Midjourney put together. I'm going to upscale the fourth one. And once upscaled, right click on the image, highlight apps, and then you'll want to click on InSwapper. Here's what Midjourney put together. It definitely captured my face, not quite the smiling that we were looking for in the prompt, but this of course could be tweaked a little bit further in order to give you the desired result. It just requires some playing around with the prompt itself. And in addition to the describe feature, you could always just freestyle it and create a brand new prompt and swap your face in. So this one was a handsome lawyer in his late thirties, short dark hair, sitting in a chair, smiling portrait shot. Let's go ahead and upscale and see what it does. And here's the result with Midjourney swapping in my face. This one looks a lot better. Let's go with one more. Here's what Midjourney put out. And here's the end result with Midjourney. Based on this, you can get really good results. And of course, the output may vary depending on the type of photo that you use, prompt that you use, and how deep and complicated you want to get with some of the, the hair features, the lighting, and other environmental factors. I also created another video which I teach you how to create characters consistently, either using your own image or using another image, which is easy in some examples as just uploading the photo and hitting the click of a button. You can watch that video right here.